Hi everyone, this video will show a few PowerShell commands you can use in Exchange Online for shared mailboxes. The first command is how to create a shared mailbox. My shared mailbox is created and here's the information. Now let's say you want to display a list of existing shared mailboxes in, in your tenant and here's the command. So here's the list of all the shared mailboxes in my tenant. This PowerShell command would give you the display name, alias, recipient details and primary address or primary SMTP address. You can also export this result into a CSV file if you like. Now let's say your manager asks for a list of all shared mailboxes in your tenant and users with access right. You can do it easily and here's the command for that. And here's the result. This command will give you the name of the shared mailbox, a user or user who have access to this shared mailbox and the access right. So you can see here, for example, for the training shared mailbox, we, I have two users and here's the list of uh, access right or the type of access that it, they have to this shared mailbox. For example, invoice shared mailbox only have one user and this user has this access right. You need to always check the size of your shared mailboxes in your tenant. By default, each shared mailbox gets 50 gigabyte of space. So it's a good idea to monitor your shared mailbox. This command that I'm going to show will list all shared mailboxes in your tenant with the number of items in each shared mailbox and the size of the mailbox. Here's the result. So you can see here under mailbox, you can see all my mailboxes are listed here. Total items, each mailbox has this many items in it and the size of the mailbox out of the 50 gig that I'll get by default. The testing is the new mailbox that I created. That's what I see this warning. It's a brand new mailbox and I haven't even used it yet. So that's where you get this uh, warning and there's nothing here in front of you. As always, make sure you end the session if you're done using PowerShell. And here's the command. I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.